Hey guys and welcome back. So today on another episode of Where the Hell is Alex, I find myself in a phone box in a co-working space. So pretty much what, the fifth, sixth day in a row I'm in a different spot doing a recap video. It's kind of driving me uh, insane a little bit today. Even my developer was like, Alex, you sound very stressed. And you know what? He's right. I'm super stressed. I'm ah, traveling kills me kills my soul um, anyway I can't wait just we have a couple more days here and then we're back in Berlin I'm super excited uh, mainly because it's hard like really all I want to do right now is work there's so many things I want to be working on we're launching the fast track right now I really want to be focused on the market because the market's really hot and all I'm doing is like commuting all over the place traveling doing all these things I don't really want to do so it's a little bit frustrating sorry you guys have to hear me uh, rant about that a little bit you guys already know I complain about it too much so a solution is on the horizon, but uh, not yet. Um, anyway, here, look at this. CRXT and so many other tickers have been absolutely flying today. It's just uh, insane. It's really fun uh, watching these tickers. Unfortunately, uh, pre-market, nothing really happened. Market open, nothing really happened. And then like around like 940, things got a little bit harder, uh, hot, hotter. Um, I started, I kept trading a little bit later today to like 10.07, um, but really I missed all the big runs today. So it wasn't really my best day. And some some really good situate or setups, I, I kind of snoozed on as well. Um, but we're ending the day up $411 here. So I guess not really too bad. Uh, there is a few trades, I literally, closed out right before the reversal it's so weird in this box i think it's like i feel it in my ears um it's like everything has no what's that word where there's like no echo or something like that i'm just in a in a sound box uh, anyway it's kind of freaking me out but anyway <clears throat> Um, yeah, these are the three tickers I trade today. There's many more, so I kind of want to go through all the different ones today. Uh, it should be a pretty quick recap. Uh, I think a big focus I want to you know, hone in on is, right, it's all about patience, and then once you find the right setup, it's about getting aggressive, and then it's about sizing. So I was not aggressive enough today. Um, I sized okay at the, at the right times, and I sized down at the right times. I think I did okay on that front, um, but there was a few moves where we were still in a front side setup. I got a little bit scared. I got a little bit nervous, and I was trading based on fear, and I missed some really good moves. If I just maintained that aggression, and I was like, we're on a front side move, let's keep going, I think today could have been you know, a $2,000 profit day because I closed out before a few 10% spikes, and I was like, ah, that was really the move um, I was waiting for. And um, I don't know, maybe is it all this kind of like being all over the place? Probably. Uh, it's hard to like get really focused in. Um, now, speaking about getting really focused in, I want to give um, a big shout out one more time um, to Tom here posted on the wall of glory again so you guys remember yesterday he had this we reviewed in the recap um, one of his biggest days and guess what today is his second biggest day 205 dollars profit uh trading the same tickers we were trading so really really nice um and he actually has a youtube channel um as well now i didn't know this i just learned this today like i'm sure a lot of you guys are noticing or maybe learning right here with me but he does have a youtube channel he's got 37 subscribers triad trading um i'll leave it uh i'll leave a link to his channel in the first pinned comment below this video definitely give a view give a follow give, or subscribe uh, and check out you know some of these latest videos um, I was watching the one from yesterday where he was talking about um, his big green day so I, I love to see the progress of the community um, for sure and um, yeah let's keep moving on let's go to the uh, Let's go to the trades. And I'll start with the weakest trades, um, but I also wanna just kinda of look at CRXT um, later on as well. So let's not forget about that. IO, the ticker I'm unfortunately up on the least. Let's quickly run to this ticker. Um, big spike here uh, to the upside, big uh, backside pattern overall, but high relative volume, so that's really good to see. Uh, the stats are pretty looking, are looking, you know, all right. You know, 30 million shares outstanding, 20 million market cap. So classic small cap that we're usually looking for, but you know, it's a, it's a sub dollar, and I'm not crazy about sub dollars. You guys already know that. Uh, and unfortunately, right here near the open, I thought we were gonna possibly break this 0.86 uh, zone. So I, you know, I kind of stepped up right here looking for that last little break into this area, and we didn't get it. Uh, so I stopped out, small loss there. There. nothing really too interesting could have been worse uh, w i n t this was this was a nice ticker today um or it, it had that nice potential and i really thought we were going to see some good moves uh with w i n t because kind of reminded me of s 
STSS, which was yesterday's uh, big winner. So if you go back to STSS really fast here, I just want to show you guys. Um, this ticker also pre-market kind of made a nice move, but then it started consolidating to the downside. And then it had this really aggressive rip and made a beautiful 50% uh, front side move after the market opened. So I was kind of thinking that um, ALVR was going to be uh, or WINT was going to be that one today. Really nice front side move. Um, so, so let's go back to WINT and um, this is the daily chart and then here's the one minute chart. Actually, he's talking about the daily chart. Let's really fast go to this one. Big backside uh, pattern overall. Um, high relative volume though today and it popped up to 1.4. I thought we would maybe break this 1.4 and that's where things would get really interesting. Uh, roughly 30 million shares outstanding and 30 million market cap um, with a catalyst. So I, I do like to see uh, these kind of tickers. The price was a little bit lower. I do like those stocks between two and seven dollars, but you know, other than that, it was it was looking pretty good. Um, kind of a shaky open here, you know, pops up 40, 50%, but um, volume questionable. Ex you know, this should be like 400,000 um, shares being traded per minute on, on a like $1.5 stock for sure. I try for these few attempts here to, you know, really break uh, this area, start holding above it and run to that 1.6 zone, but we never really got it. So these were all kind of like failed attempts. And then here, um, we looked like the five minute was actually really nice. We were breaking here on the five minute. We were having this like micro one minute pullback and I actually bought into that. I bought at 139. It popped up here at like 143 and instantly got rejected. It got rejected so hard. So I just jumped the chip and I take a small loss here at 1.37, luckily with small share size. Um, and then it flushes all the way down in like three minutes, uh, 10%. So when I saw that rejection, you know, it's breakout or bailout. And that was like a really good bailout. So I'm pretty happy. And I'm actually ending green on WINT, um, which is pretty nice in my eyes because there wasn't really a lot of opportunity on it. Now, what I should be ending really green on, I should be up like over a thousand dollars on is ALVR. Um, so I'm a little bit disappointed actually how I ended up trading this one. Uh, let's, look, let's look at this. So backside pattern, big resistance here, but high relative volume and it was working its way through these resistance zones. So that was really nice on the daily. Now let's quickly go here to the uh, or look at the stats. It's a biotech, 65 million shares outstanding, and almost a $500 million market cap. That's pretty big. That's pretty aggressive numbers here on the, that area. Um, the price, you know, uh, it's okay. It's it's not like my ideal price range, but it's it's fine. You know, anything under $10, I'm still pretty happy uh, to trade. Once it gets over $10, it's, it becomes a little bit of a different beast. Now, pre-market, and let me actually line up these charts here on the bottom. So they got the five minute down here on the bottom uh, left. That's a nice spot. And then we got the one minute. Uh, this is really what I'm trading on uh, in the center. So we had that um, spike here pre-market, but this was a little, this it was pretty much over before it started and then it started consolidating. So it really wasn't that interesting of a ticker until the market opened. Um, so I thought WINT was going to be the big winner, um, but it was really ALVR. So it popped up here, but it was shaky. Look at these shaky moves. So I started, you know, taking quick trades, um, but I did really small size because it was really choppy. And I, I don't really trust those kind of tickers. Then it has this huge fake out. We call it the Colby shake, um, where it fakes out to the downside and then rushes back up. And then look at this. It just does three more candles of really aggressive move. That was a 20% pop. So that was really nice. I start, I'm like, all right, this ticker's in play. Big five minute breakout, one minute pullback. This I'm like, whoo, finally, I, I've been looking at charts now for like two and a half hours and there hasn't been anything, right? Because I always trade usually from seven to 10. So for me, it was just, it was a total snooze fest. I was falling out of my chair at this point. You could see I'm already getting more excited because this is what I was waiting for all day. And yesterday was a little bit similar where it was, actually yesterday pre-market was even slower. Um, so then, you know, it, it, it's a bit weird right now. Um, yeah, so I, I started trading this one. Uh, take two trades here, but you know, it's getting a little flushy and then right here, boom, back at it, it, it moves higher here. And now this is where I actually ended up getting, I, I really edge into this, um, nice pullback here. So it's a five minute, you know, looking like a five minute breakout, I'm crawling up here and, uh, nice one minute pullback. And I start buying here in this one. And then I actually end up closing at like somewhere in this area to, let's see, 773. So I basically closed here when it popped up for a second, thinking it was going to continue selling off. It actually ended up having this huge breakout. So this was probably my biggest mistake of the day. This could have been a massive win. Um, but yeah, it wasn't, I should have been sizing up instead of closing out. Um, I think this is the one, uh, Tom got. So, you know, hats off, Tom, you've been slaying the beast, uh, much, much better than me, uh, percentage wise. So really good stuff here. And then, and then you really notice that the volume was fading here. Uh, and like there was a big spike in red volume. That's when I stopped looking at ALVR to me, it just became really uninteresting 
interesting um, because I was like, this is this is getting sketchy. This ticker flushes all over the, t the place, so uh, it's not for me. Now we did have more tickers that I didn't trade today. Um, that I really just want to quickly throw up on the charts, like CRXT, beautiful ticker between two and seven dollars. Uh, stats looking really nice here, 24 million uh, shares outstanding, 63 million market cap, pharma company, backside but with nice relative volume. Um, and then you know the problem with this ticker is like it wasn't doing anything, uh, nothing. Uh, you could see, you know. Um, this looks like a big move. It was like 50%, but this was extended hours, so I wasn't able to trade it. So I'm not trading till 7 a.m. So in this area, so really it wasn't really doing anything interesting. And let me just make sure the five minute is a little bit closer to where we would like it. Um, right here. Where is that? Oh, this is further than I thought. Uh, yeah, there it is. So yeah, five minute. This this was really not that interesting. Um, it had this quick pop and then flush. I mean, this was devastating. I'm sure some some people took a huge loss here. This was just really not fun to see something like that. Um, and then it wasn't really that interesting. I mean, yeah, it popped slowly up here, uh, but on really low volume. Um, eventually, though, once we break this former high, it gets a little choppy, but then we have this really nice rip in this area. Um, we have this great five minute breakout, one minute pullbacks. This is where you could have probably made a really solid chunk of uh, change really, really fast today. Um, unfortunately, this was like around 10, 40, so I was no longer looking at this ticker um, and then it's kind of consolidating for like pretty much a half an hour um, but then it has one of its best front sides right here um, oh this is just beautiful uh, breakout pullback breakout pullback breakout pullback breakout um, yeah then it gets a little flushy and then the red volume takes over so that's not really that nice but you know today was a day where it was like a late morning day so I'm not so surprised that I left profits on the table it just wasn't really like a day that you know um, highlights my strengths for sure usually you know I, if there's an amazing ticker pre-market that's where I make most of my money and then eight o'clock to nine I don't really do that great and then like you know 9 30 to like 10 it's it's always a question mark sometimes I give back sometimes I make money but you know if there's no major ticker pre-market then I'm sitting on my hands a little bit um, and I should have known that maybe today I should trade a little bit longer um, but like I said I'm a little bit out of my routine here a little bit I mean it's 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time usually by now I've, I've done like everything um, and I haven't even recorded this. I haven't finished recording this video. So it's like, I feel like I'm so behind schedule. Um, so I think that's why I'm a little bit stressed today. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys learned something from this video of, uh, you know, basically being a little bit more centered, trying to find what works for you and then getting aggressive on those good setups. You know, I knew pre-market was slow um, and I knew market open was a little bit slow. So I should have waited maybe a little bit longer waiting for that ticker. I think that would have paid off if I stayed at the place we're house sitting right now. If I stayed there a little bit longer to trade um, just a little bit, um, wait for that good setup that could have came, but which did come with uh, CRXT. But, uh, you know, sometimes you're just getting green and, you know, there's so much going on that maybe it's just best to relax a little bit. And uh, even, you know, if your developer is saying you're, you're stressed out, that's that's not a good sign. So, um, yeah, probably a good time for me to take a breather. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you then first thing tomorrow morning. Like always, uh, stay safe and make some awesome trades. Ciao, ciao.